Women in Resources champion, Vina Mendez. Once I moved into Australia over 15 years ago, I started seeing social issues compared to other developing nations, such as domestic violence, which led me to actually be involved at the Zonda House Women's Refuge. After joining the Australian oil and gas industry, I did see some common threads about gender inequality. So I did start Women in Oil and Gas five years ago to actually fill this gap and also help support women break through into the oil and gas. Every long journey starts with a small step. You've got to take accountability and responsibility. Lynn Olsen. Certainly changed a lot in the last 24 years, but when I started there wasn't a lot of support around for women in the industry and there weren't very many women on site. So in order to get that level playing field, we really need to build on the inclusive workforce. And a lot of that is around flexibility and really changing the norm so that rather than every job being considered a full-time position and you need to fight if you want something different, I think every job should be considered to be flexible. It could be role shared, it could be part-time. And if there's a reason it can't be, then prove it. Sharon Sutton. I lead a team of technical people in the mining industry for Rio Tinto and I'm currently on assignment in Canada. In terms of making the mining industry less masculine, some of the things that I do is just be myself, um, as well as supporting younger women in the industry. I think that's really important to actually bring genuine diversity, not become one of the boys. I've also been involved in Robo Girls. Um, with a leadership program that they were running and supporting that event. I'm also on the board of Kent Street High School where there's an excellent geological program 